The four strongest men in the world take on history's most legendary feats of strength. The World's Strongest Man in History is one of History Channel's latest additions to its program schedule, which premiered in July 2019 and to date has aired for one season. The show follows the journey of four strongmen as they reveal apparently impossible acts of strength in recorded history. Along the way, the four participants also compete against each other, hoping to determine who the modern world's strongest man really is. Throughout the competition, the strongmen reenact some of the feats required of men from past eras, trying to duplicate the strong acts reputedly performed by figures in history. The first season of the world's strongest man in history consists of seven episodes. Throughout the debut season, the participants competed in everything, from Viking traditions to Scottish Highland games. They also really the history of the American Civil War while attempting the astounding acts of Peter Francisco. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. The show stars Eddie Hall, Nick Best, Robert Oberst, and Brian Shaw. All became finalists in the World's Strongest Man competition and hold various records in weightlifting. Since the show has only just started, there aren't many secrets to discover about the series yet. However, the show undoubtedly pricks the interest of both geeks and jocks, since it's not only packed with astounding feats of athleticism, but also interesting facts about history. The show also travels to various locations in the US and UK, but unfortunately, due to the latest global traveling restrictions, the second season of The World's Strongest Man in History has suffered an indefinite delay. Regardless, Based on the popularity of the show, a second season still seems possible, and fans can look forward to enjoying another installment, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Edward Stephen Hall, known professionally as Eddie Hall or The Beast, is a former British strongman. He rose to prominence after achieving multiple wins in the English and UK strongman competitions and won the title of World's Strongest Man in the 2017 Championship. Born on the 15th of January 1988, Eddie took up bodybuilding as a teenager, and while attending high school also competed in both swimming and rugby. However, after being expelled from Clayton High School, Eddie received home tutoring and later began working as a mechanic. Hall started competing professionally in strongman competitions in 2010, replacing one of the competitors of England's strongest man, who had to forfeit because of an injury. Hall made it into the finals that year, but would only win the following competition in 2011. He is the world's current deadlift record holder, achieving an impressive 500 kilograms, 1,102 pounds, which he set during the 2017 World's Strongest Man Championship. Among his fellow competitors on the World's Strongest Man in history, Hall is the second smallest, standing 6 foot 3 inches, 1.9 meters tall, and weighing in at 350 55 pounds, 160 kilograms. Apart from appearing in several specials and History Channel's latest editions, Hall also made a brief appearance as Saxon Warrior in the film Transformers The Last Knight. Brian Shaw is an American strongman and winner of the 2011, 2013, 2015, and 2016 World's Strongest Man Championships. Brian, who goes by his nickname Gigantor, excelled at basketball during his early years and later schooling years. This eventually earned him a paid scholarship to attend Black Hill State University, from where he graduated with a degree in wellness management. While competing in basketball, Brian developed a fascination for weightlifting, and the gym soon became his personal sanctuary where he could live out his deepest passion. Born on the 26th of February 1982 in Fort Lupton, Colorado, to a family of exceptional height. Brian's brute strength and size was hardly anything unique. Without prior coaching or teaching, Brian began competing in strongman competitions and won his first championship at the Denver Strongman Contest in 2005. In 2011, Brian became the first man to hold both the World's Strongest Man Championship, his first since he started competing internationally in 2008, and Arnold Strongman Classic Championship. To prove that he is simply the best, Shaw repeated his dual success in 2016. Aside from being a star on the World's Strongest Man in history, Shaw is also a famous YouTuber. Most of his YouTube content found at Shaw Strength consists of workout advice and routines, strength challenges, and eating competitions. Eddie Hall also makes frequent appearances on Shaw's YouTube channel. In December of 2020, Shaw hosted his own strongman competition called the Shaw Classic, which he supported with GoFundMe donations. However, after winning his own competition, Shaw forfeited the purse by splitting the money amongst the other competitors. Shaw stands 6 feet 8 inches, 2.03 meters tall, making him the tallest competitor on the show. Robert Oberst, also known as Obi, is an American professional strongman and star of the World's Strongest Man in History, but is yet to win a World's Strongest Man Championship. Born on the 20th of December 1984 in Santa Cruz, California, Obi began competing professionally after receiving his pro card at the 2012 Dallas Europa Amateur Strongman Competition. From a young age, Robert's lofty height drew attention as he stood considerably taller than many of his family members. At the age of 12, Obi already stood 6 feet 1 inches, 1.85 meters tall, and weighed 220 pounds, 100 kilograms. But aside from being outstanding, it also earned him a spot on the high school football team. 
After matriculating from Aptos High School, Obi went on to attend Western Oregon University on a football scholarship, from where he graduated with a degree in history. After varsity, Robert attempted a career in professional football, but despite his stature and formidable strength, he never made it to any of the teams. While working as a nightclub bouncer, Robert's colleagues introduced him to the strongman scene, encouraging him to both train and compete after he unofficially broke the amateur log press record during a workout. Four months later, he earned his professional status and ever since became a regular competitor in the World's Strongest Man contest. In 2018, he achieved his personal best ranking after finishing eighth in the overall competition. At a height of 6 foot 7 inches, 2.01 meters, Obi is the second tallest competitor on the World's Strongest Man in history. Simply the best, Nick Best. The final member of the show's star assembly is an American strongman competitor. Despite not winning a title in the international contests, Nick has won several local championships in the US and the Jesse Marunde Invitational Contest. Best also won the World Championship powerlifting title in 1996 and 97, long before he gained interest in the strongman competitions. He began competing at the World's Strongest Man Contest in 2010, when he also achieved his personal best ranking after finishing sixth in the overall standings. Nick has since qualified for the competition each following year, except in 2019, but only achieved ranking among the top 10 again in 2017. Best is also a regular feature of the Arnold Strongman Classic competition, Strongman Super Series, and finished second for two consecutive years in the Giants Live Contest. Born on the 6th of November 1968 in Las Vegas, Nevada, Best is the oldest competitor in the show, and standing at 6 foot 2 inches, 1.88 meters tall, he is also the second shortest contestant. Despite his age and lack of height, Nick keeps the competition on the world's strongest man in history tight, even beating his own personal best hip lift record during one of the contests. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.